Did you know that the price you set for your home could be the difference between a quick sale and your home sitting on the market for months? Today, I'm spilling the secrets on choosing the perfect list strategy. Trust me, you don't wanna miss this. Here's the thing, pricing in your home isn't just about picking a number and crossing your fingers. Get it wrong and you could be leaving thousands of dollars on the table or worse, scaring off potential buyers entirely. But how can you decide to the right strategy? Do you know what it's like for searching something rare like a needle in the haystack? Yeah, that's one of the strategies. And yes, it's just as tricky as it sounds. The needle in the haystack strategy involves setting a list price significantly higher than the market value. This approach is similar to searching for a needle in this haystack, relying on finding a buyer's willing to pay a premium without the need for appraisal or negotiation. Pros, potential for high selling price if the right buyer is found, creates a impressive and exclusive premium value. But some of the cons, high risk of the home becoming stale on the market. Potential buyers might perceive the home as overpriced, leading to reduced interest. This strategy requires patience and often suited for unique, high-valued homes. However, the rarity of this search makes this approach less commonly recommended. Next up, is the auction strategy. The auction strategy sets the list price below market value to stimulate buyers' interest and competition. This method is designed to attract multiple offers, creating a bidding war that drives the final price above the market value. Some of the pros include a quick sale due to the heightened interest and urgencies, potential to achieve market value or higher through competitive bidding. Some of the cons, risk of receiving only one offer which might not meet expectations. This can be stressful for sellers due to uncertainty of the final sales price. This strategy is ideal for sellers who need to sell quickly or in markets with high buyer demand. It leverages psychological triggers of competition and urgency often resolved in a swift sale. Now we have the fair market value value strategy. This is a gridlock approach, not too high, not too low. You price your home right as its market value based on solid data and current conditions. The fair market value strategy involves pricing the home at what is considered the true market value based on the current market conditions, comparable sales, and property features. Some of the pros. It's a balanced approach that reduces the risk of overpricing. It attracts serious buyers who recognize the fair pricing, but some of the cons, it may take longer to sell compared to the auction strategy. It requires accurate and up-to-date market analysis. This strategy is the most commonly adapted approach by our clients. It strikes a balance between attracting potential buyers and achieving a reasonable sales price without the risk associated with the other two strategies. Selecting the appropriate price strategy depends on various factors, including the seller's timeline, market condition, and the home's uniqueness. I almost forgot to mention, but how do you determine if the price you set for your home is the right one? There's a secret indicator that can reveal whether you've nailed it or missed the mark. Foot traffic. That's right. The number of people that walk through your front door could be telling you more than you think. Picture this. Your home's been on the market for a few weeks, heaven forbid months, but hardly anyone's shown up to see it. You started to wonder, did I set the right price? Is the home being overlooked? It's a stressful situation, but here's the deal. Low foot traffic can be a major red flag that your pricing strategy might need some tweaking. So how does foot traffic clue you in on your price strategy? Here's the scoop. If your home is priced right, you should see a steady stream of interested buyers coming through the front door, especially in the first 21 days. That's because a well-priced home attracts attention and makes buyers feel like they're getting value. But if the foot traffic is low, it's time to take a closer look. Ask yourself, did I price too high? Making buyers think they can't afford it, or maybe too low. Making them wonder if there's something wrong with the condition of the home or the location of the home. Either way, the solution is simple. Adjust the price accordingly and watch how foot traffic changes. We understand selling a home is personal. 
You've made memories there and naturally you want top dollar. But what if the market's rejecting your price? The biggest sign your price might be off is no showing, no foot traffic. I mean, if a potential buyers aren't even curious enough to walk through the door, it's like serving gourmet meals to an empty dining room. So when should you start thinking about adjusting the price? Here's the rule of thumb. If your home's been on the market for two to three weeks without any showings or offers, it's time to reconsider. The best practice is to pay attention the first seven days. Now, I'm not saying drop the price like a hot potato. No, there's no need to panic. But a small adjustment could make your home the hottest ticket in town. Remember, it's about finding the sweet spot where the price reflects the true value of your home and the current market conditions. We're dedicated to provide Personalized guidance to each of our clients' home is priced strategically to meet their goals. By carefully considering the needle in the haystack, the auction strategy, and the fair market value strategy, homeowners can make informed decisions that align with, with the sales objectives. For more detailed advice tailored to your specific situation, feel free to contact us. Call, text, or simply watch this video right over here. That one.